Hello everyone out there in interweb land. This is Dolly, the Rockabilly Socialite, and I am here today to tell you all how I do my wet set. It's the number one request I get from people, uh, so much so that finally after about five years of being asked, I'm doing a video. My first tutorial video. Now I'm not a professional and this is only my experience with what works best with my hair. I have straight hair naturally, no wave to whatsoever, and I prefer a curly hair look so I've been curling it this way my whole life. I was um, taught to do it this way by my grandmother. I've always used foam rollers. Pin curls are the more traditional route but they don't work for me. This way is super easy and it works every time. You can't go wrong. So I'm going to show you how I do it. This is the finished project. Here what does it look like that I'm going to show you how to do. Get a little sneak peek. It's not perfect but that's the beauty of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's a, foam rollers are a lot more forgiving than curls. You can see my hair is mostly dry. This is about the um, dampness you're going to want it. You can see it's it's very dry. Uh, just a little bit of dampness. I, I just washed it, use shampoo and conditioner, and just let it air dry. And uh, this is what I'm going to add to it now. It's my Motions Hair Setting Lotion. It's a foam. and. Uh, Basically, this is the way I apply it. I hope you can see, but I just pump some into my hands. <laughs> Go like this. I try and get it um, kind of all over. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I try and get some at the roots and the tip. You can feel it um, adding volume to the hair and a little bit of tackiness. You don't want to put too much or too little. Um, I'd say about four or five pumps is good. And then I um, use this hair clip and I'm going to use section off the hair I'm not wrapping and put it up with the hair clip while I'm sitting there. Just like this. And then I have this comb I use. And um, so the setting pattern I use, I don't really know where I got it from. I've been doing it forever. It's basically you section off this very top portion of your hair in a square, the very crown of the head. Everything below there is going to be rolled down. So I start, I hope you can see this, um, I just do one section here and I'll divide that in half and I'll roll those two sections with my foam rollers. And I'm going to keep doing that um, all the way up. I just brush each section of hair as I go up. I try and tuck the little ends in, but I try and keep them flat. If you get them at a bend, your hair is going to come out with a bend at the end. Um, that's no bueno. You'll get to the point where you could do this without looking. Um, 
I, I can do without a mirror now, just sitting in front of the TV or, you know, while you're at Viva Las Vegas in the hotel room, just sitting on the bed. See, it doesn't have to be perfect. I see I just divide it with my fingers. So, so far I have two rows um, below my ears. And then again, you just divide that um, in half. And roll up.
count the stars with the one by eventually rolls down as well. Now this section is sort of my bang section. This is the only section I'm going to roll a different direction. This section I'm actually going to roll uh, this way because I actually part my hair here. This isn't actually my part. It's a little bit um, to the left of my part, but I want this section to swoop over. So I'm actually going to roll it in the direction I want it to go. You can roll it the opposite direction if you want, you know, the volume to tease that way, but I, I don't. I roll it the direction I want to go. I have all of my rollers in. I actually wear this uh, really old lady grandma hairnet to bed. You just put it over like this and then you go to sleep. It's like sleeping in a little puffy cloud. 